New tonight in San Joaquin County, Ripon police are warning parents about a game called Assassin. Officers say it is causing injuries and draining valuable police resources. KCRA3's Claire DeWan explains the game and the potential danger. Almost every teen we spoke to at the skate park knows the game of Assassin. Yeah, I've played it a few times with my friends. Players, often high schoolers, pay money to be a part of the game. To eliminate someone, you have to hit them with water. You use hoses, water guns, but nothing with a motor, like a pressure washer or anything. Ripon police say teens also use airsoft or dart guns, and they hide out in bushes, at churches, homes, schools, sometimes in the dark just to hit their target. All times of the day? All times of the day. The last ones to survive win the money pool. The problem, police say, is when neighbors spot suspicious activity. Some people like to like hide in the bushes and stuff, like sort of ambush or whatever. So instead of responding to real threats, officers spend time fielding calls about players and dealing with problems on the road. There were a couple of collisions, a couple of fender benders, you know, people just running at each other, you know, getting close, trying to get in your window and stuff like that. Ripon police say they know of different cases where the game of assassin injures people. Police say one player was bitten by a dog because the homeowner thought he was being burglarized. I guess you can get too personal with it and start like. You know what I mean? Get real physical about it because, you know, everyone wants to, you know, everyone's greedy, you know, in their own way. Police hope parents will speak to their children about the perils of the game. There's venues if you want to go do that. Um, and just doing it all over the place doesn't seem to be a, a appropriate use. Ripon police tell KCRA 3 in the last several years, they've responded to at least 10 calls that turn out to be teens playing the assassin game. Reporting in Ripon, Claire Dwine, KCRA 3 News.